Ahoy, and welcome to Disaster December. So many months ago, I saw the Artemis PP750 announced, and I thought it was absolutely gorgeous. I mean, it looks a little bit like the Atman AP16, which I love. So I kept looking out for it, and as soon as it came available, absolutely anyway, I would see if they had it in the limited 10 joule version, but everything was like, the lowest I could find was 16 joules. So when it finally became available locally, most of the stores were sold out instantly. So it was just listed, but not available, except for one place. So I ordered the the 5.5 version and I was so excited, I was psyched. And the next day I got an email going, sorry, we don't have any 5.5s. So I went, okay, well, could I have the 4.5 instead? Because that's also listed as in stock. The next day they went, no, sorry, we don't have the 4.5 either. We actually don't have any cheese in stock. So I'm like, okay, well, I'll just keep waiting. And then I waited and I waited. Nine months later, the 5.5 version arrived and I was so stoked. Not only that, the 4.5 millimeter version arrived. So it's kind of amusing because I mailed them going, yo, I only ordered one, but it turned out I only paid once and they were like, you know what? You had to wait nine months for this. So just keep them both. So I was absolutely stoked. So the 5.5 version, it's, I mean, it's gorgeous, right? I, I, I mean, obviously I've kitted it out. But the thing is I had now, I had one to spare to do anything I wanted to. And because this looked so much like the Atman AP16, I thought, what if? So this has the moderator adapter on the front. So this is a thread protector. But now the thing about the Atman AP16 is that the barrel ends pretty much with the air cylinder. And it's also just uh, pretty cubic or rectangular or just angular at the, at the top. So I thought, what if I take this tube, I cut it off and then put in a, an M20 by one thread on the inside and then put this inside. Then I thought, okay, well with this on, it will be nice and flush. But then this part will be actually be um, maybe conflicting with a moderator that tries to screw on that doesn't have enough space. And I really wanted it to be even. So I thought, okay, I will buy some M22 aluminum tube, because this is 22 millimeters in diameter. And I will buy a super crusty M20 by one tap from Bulgaria on eBay. Now, when, when this arrived, it was very well packed in what looked like sewage. It took about half an hour of WD-40 and some love to actually get this to look like metal again. So I figured how hard could it be to actually put a thread in some tubing. I initially bought M22 outer diameter M18 on the inside, so I'd have enough metal to work with. That was the dumbest idea ever. This couldn't even fit in, and I have no way of taking material from the inside. So I got M22 on the outside, M19 on the inside. Because, you know, that would make life easier, but this would be slightly thinner. And I'm like, anyway. So, shoved this in the end, took a wrench, and dear God, I could not get this to actually go straight in. I couldn't get it to turn and to move in. So what I, what I ended up doing is actually just shoving this in a vise up against a wall. Then I put this on the end, put my belly on this side, drilled a hole through with a screwdriver using it for torque. So my belly pushed it forwards while I was twisting and I finally got it to work. So, et voila. Let's move that there. So this is now flush with the front. It actually goes on, which is fantastic. I removed uh, the, the sides holding on to this because I just wanted it to be a pistol. This still looks a little bit too long in my eyes. I'd love to have the skills to shorten the cylinder or something. I, I don't know why they don't make a just a, a dinky PCP pistol. Anywho. So then I figured, let me see if I can 3D print something and get the profile correct. So it's 22 millimeters. I can't remember what this one is. But I just wanted to see like yeah, that fits pretty well. So this is my test piece before I did the whole length and didn't fit. So I thought, okay, well, before I do the back piece, I should just maybe do some rails for this. So, okay, shove this on, and that gives me a nice place for a, a red dot or something like that. And then the front piece, I thought I may as well get some sort of sights on it, and I just remodeled it after the original sights. So, this slides on, yep, and this slides on, yep. 
and Evrola. Nothing like the AP16. I was so bummed. This this just doesn't look good. I I thought it, I mean I'm practicing and this is the first version, right? But the thing I notice is the AP16 is a lot narrower at, up top, kind of like the PP700 actually. But because the inner diameter, well the outer diameter of the tube is 22 millimeters, you actually can't go thinner. So what I'd have to do is actually kind of embrace the barrel by itself and just take the shroud off and then actually make it narrow. But anyway, that'll be version two. So now the end, what, what was my solution for the end? So I bought some M20 aluminum rod that I just take down to 19 and then drill the hole in and then tap a UNF thread in. Turns out drilling straight holes through tube through yeah rods is incredibly difficult if you don't have the right tools. So I figured, you know what? I have two of these, and this already has the UNF thread in. What if I just shove this in my the only tool I have, a drill press, and then just take a file to it or a chisel or something disgusting that people who know me will no longer speak to me about? And eventually, I came up with this. So this is now 19 millimeters. Well, just under because, I, yeah, because. But yeah, so then this goes in the front. In theory, yeah, I'd lock it in there somehow. And then I've just got this female to female, well, male to male adapter. And then when I want to, I can plug a moderator in. Now you might be asking yourself, Surely this has sound level um, implications. And yes, it does. So I've, the next segment will cover that completely. I went through all sorts of ridiculous versions, just comparing, seeing what difference things make. Alas, this worked pretty well in the beginning, but then um, one of the shots, it actually just blew this off. So the pressure in here was so high that it just came out. So might want to drill a little hole in the top and just see if that helps anything, of course, I want to try find a way of actually keeping the front in. But yeah, this is version one. So before I get to the summary, let's see about those sound levels. Okay, so as you can see, it's about 10 decibels louder now, <laughs> so that's a complete failure. It's amazing what just taking one set of baffles out of here did. So I'm wondering if things are maybe too close to the barrel and there's not enough space to, for it to expand first and actually go to the back. So I'm going to actually, should I continue this, um, print something which is much more of a elongated cone and then hopefully the air gets trapped in there, gets stored here first before coming out the front. So, did I succeed on any front? No, I did not. This does not look good, it doesn't sound good, and it doesn't shoot good. Um, it's pretty inaccurate, but that's just because this is not tight and I have no idea how to actually make this tight. The sights uh, printed are actually way too high. Uh, well, I'm shooting low, so yeah, I need to take something off there, so reprint this, maybe make it adjustable. Um, putting a red dot on, yeah, that works fine. This is the one part that actually does work, but it just, yeah, this is <laughs> this has been a failure in every single way. But hey, you live, you learn, and this is version one, so if nothing else, I hope you enjoyed laughing at me. Stay safe.